The Métis, who were known as the children of the fur trade, arose from the union of European fur traders and explorers with First Nations women beginning in the 1600s, forming their own communities, and developing their own customs, way of life, language and recognizable group identity separate from that of their First Nations or European forebears. Bannock is a type of flatbread which could be baked or fried. It was easy make and transport, lasted a long time and was quite filling. It could be made from flour from traders, or from dried wild turnip. The Métis decorated their clothing with intricate beadwork and floral design patterns. They had become so talented in this particular form of art that they became known as the flower beadwork people. The floral beadwork became an important part of the Métis culture and became distinctly Métis. The sash is one of the most recognizable garments worn by the Métis. Traditionally, the sash was worn by men, but today it can be seen on both genders either tied at the waist or draped across one shoulder. The sash can come in many different color variations, and in the past certain colors and patterns were used to identify specific families from various communities. The finger-woven sash was used to hold coats or capotes closed and it also served as a tow rope, tump line, towel and sewing kit. It was common for a sash to hold a hunting knife and a fire bag. The sash has acquired new significance, now symbolizing pride and identification for Métis people. One of the most valued trade items during the fur trade era was the woolen trade blanket. While the Métis made garments of animal hides, wool was prized for its warmth, which it maintained while wet. Métis men often wore capotes that were long hooded coats made from thick wool Hudson's Bay blankets and tied with a colorful hand-woven sash. They wore leggings, and their moccasins often were decorated with elegant beaded floral pattern designs. The traditional music of the Métis was up-tempo and lively, which made it perfect for dancing. Extra and irregular beats were added to give bounce to the music, making the dance a lot faster. The Métis dances were a blend of European and First Nations influences. The traditional dance of the Métis people is the Red River Jig. In a jig, the faster the fiddle music, the faster the dancer's feet had to move. The rhythm was kept by toe-tapping or playing the spoons. The jig has two parts. First part, traditional jig steps, where the fiddle played the high section. Second part, fiddle played the lower section, and there was fancier, faster footwork. Dancers often competed with other dancers to show the fastest, most complicated footwork.
The fiddle was the most common instrument used by the Métis and is an iconic symbol of the Métis culture. It was the French and Scots who first introduced fiddles to the Métis. The Métis fiddle music had a distinct sound to it, and the rhythm was based on placing accents where they wouldn't normally occur and including extra beats for dancing. Métis fiddle music can be heard at Métis events and is available on the internet and at music stores.